Hello my fellow cigar smokers and welcome to Smoker Spot. Today we are smoking the Nomad Signature. Shorty. Let's see how it tastes. So, a few days ago, my good friend Ranch from Hearts in Cigars sent me a few cigars. Uh, white Chocolate Maca, Velvet Elvis, Hendrix, Exquisite Lyrics, a cow, and the Nomad Signature. There's a lot of stuff to smoke. Thanks a lot, my friend. Uh, really appreciate that. Especially since that are more or less all cigars that are not available here in Europe or in Germany. And uh, he was so kind to uh, throw even in the Nomad because uh, he, he made a video about, uh, I think back then it was like a, a monthly delivery he got and there was the Nomad in there and I commented on his video and saying, well that cigar is looking nice. So he was throw it in the package and now I make a little review about this cigar because man, I really I love this size. I fell in love with the nubs when they were coming out. These really uh, stumpy little sticks. Uh, just love the Vitola. So before I'm going to smoke it, let me give you a few numbers. This uh, Vitola is called Shorty. Uh, and it is has a ring gauge of 54 and is uh, four inches long. <laughs> they have a few more Vitolas. They have the Corona Gordo, uh, the Robusto and the Toro. Um, but here's the shorty. I'm really excited to smoke this one. Um, before I continue talking about the cigar, I would say let's get into it. The smell is more or less giving me a little bit of wood, nothing more, but it smells nice. Let's see what the cold draw is giving us, if I can have it on the focus. Nice even cut. Mmm. Mmm. Cold draw. Some fruitiness. Fruitiness. Or at least something really refreshing. And, um, something nutty. Not sure. Well, Nomad have some tobacco flakes. Mm, Nomad had uh, not so long on the market. Um, they started producing cigars in 2012, and then they then they were bought by um, uh, Esra Sion. I forgot the name. Uh, in 2018, so six years after they were uh, founded. Uh, Esra Sion uh, is running his business from Texas. A lot of cigars uh, first um, appeared into the scene, I think, uh, at, a, at a fair in 2012. Since then, made a couple of really good cigars. In the meanwhile, or in the process uh, of, of doing cigars, he had some problems with uh, getting the right tobacco from his cigar. So a lot of cigars that people liked were not available or not um, in the quantity uh, uh, that would be necessary to like fulfill the needs of everybody who likes his cigars, let's say it this way. Um, just, he's making a little mystery about this uh, Nomad 
uh, what's in there uh, and so on. On the website you can see that the wrapper is a secret. Well, frankly, the wrapper is looking for me like an Ecuador Habano wrapper. Uh, don't know what's inside, but when I keep on smoking it, I will take some wild guesses what's in there. Let's burn the shorty and see if it tastes as good as I thought it is when I first saw it. Took the fire very well. And the first few puffs are good, man. A little bit of pepper, not very much though. Still this, this nuttiness, not sure what nut it is. <laughs> I'm not an expert on nuts, uh, but this, it combining with this, uh, as I said earlier, in the, I guess it was in the smell where it had this woodish aromas. So wood and nuts that go very well together. That's all at the moment. Um, $11. That's, well, for like a short cigar like this, that's quite a price. While I'm smoking, let me see what other we told us, what the price of, oh, wait, let's see, let's take it, the Robusto, well, that's 11.50. Corona Gordo, oh, Gordo. oh, he calls it not even Gordo, it's a Gorda, don't know what the difference is. Um, the most expensive one is a Toro uh, with $12. Draws perfect. It starts to burn, starts to get a little bit uneven, but we're very at the beginning, so I'm pretty sure that the cigar can correct itself because it looks very well constructed, frankly. Looking alone at the wrapper, there are no like big veins. Uh, you hear you have one, but it's looking a little bit sharper here on the video than it is in reality. Um, pretty impressed by the construction. Draw is good. Although the burn is not perfect, the ash starts to looking good. It's white. I like that. And it's producing a nice smoke. And I think I think it's that's one of the cigars that can develop this this creaminess where all the different flavors somehow mix together in a big creamy you know big creaminess flow uh, like again I don't know how to describe it but um, other than creaminess medium strength I would say not too strong not not too lot not too not too mild somewhere in the middle. But probably has the potential to develop a little bit more strength. We'll see.
my friends, I really love this cigar already. It was, as I said, the burn corrected itself and frankly, look at that ash. White, solid, lovely. I removed the band because I wanted to show you something. Here, don't know if you can see it, there it's saying uh, Godfather uh, with the email sign before it. It's, and I instantly thought that must be an Instagram nickname. <laughs> I'm such a social media addict uh, and then I figured out that it was it is in in fact uh, from Fred Rui if I pronounce that name right Godfather he was the owner of Nomad before he sold it um, he just put his Instagram nick on the band. Isn't that fucking crazy? <laughs> I don't know if I say. I don't know if I should think that's cool or that's just a little bit too uh, crazy. <laughs> well, however, he's doing. He, he was doing good cigars. Uh, a pity that he's not longer obviously in the cigar business because at least his Instagram account. Um, uh, it's not mentioning cigars at all. Uh, he's now a social media ninja. That says his profile. However, um, back to this lovely Nomad signature. Developed nicely, not only construction wise. Um, there is this creaminess I hoped for. Woodish flavors, nutty flavors still there. The pepper is completely gone. Uh, and in addition to the wood and the nut, there's also now chocolate. <laughs> well, not chocolate, but a sweetness, a really nice sweetness. Um, but you only get the sweetness on the retro hail. Um, and also on the retro hail, you get a little bit of spice. And now this spice and the sweetness is leading me to my guess what's inside. Uh, like I said, Nomad is making a big secret out of it. I think, um, as I said earlier, it's an Ecuador Habano wrapper and I sit in the insiders, Puro Nicaragua, my guess. And it's supported by the fact that the cigar is made in Esteli in Nicaragua uh, in a factory called, if I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, my Spanish really sucks, Oveja Negra or Oveja Negra. I think Oveja Negra means black sheep. And they're doing there a couple of boutique cigars like the Black Label Trading Company cigars and uh, the Dissident, for example. Um, so, since they're in Nicaragua, maybe I'm right. If somebody knows more details and facts, Put it down in the comments. Uh, maybe I'm right. Maybe not. But it's it's it it tastes like an, a Nicaragua cigar, and uh, the wrapper looks like an Ecuador Habano. But what do I know? I, I'm pretty sure I can. I could smoke this cigar up to the bitter end. Bitter. It's not bitter at all, um, and I I wonder how long the ash the, the ash <laughs> Jesus the ash uh, will hold. Looking damn good. And now that I'm smoking this cigar, and in fact, as I thought, the cigar is so good. Man, I'm really. It's a pity that they are not available. <laughs> here <laughs> because also there are eleven dollars for this shorty um damn good cigar really lovely or 
there's nothing more to say other than I really want to enjoy this stick uh, a little bit more and unfortunately my coffee is gone uh, kind of thirsty but uh, so ranch hearts and cigars thanks a lot for, for especially for this cigar uh, appreciate it um, and all you other guys I hope you enjoyed this little review um, smoke a good cigar more st importantly today I have some problems with um, uh, with speaking <laughs> maybe it's too early in the morning guys most importantly stay safe stay healthy and I hope to see you around here at Smokerspot again have a good one